The iconic star Vanessa Redgrave was born in London in 1937 in a family of actors. She loved dancing and therefore was studying in a ballet school. At 20, she started acting at a theatre stage in Stratford-upon-Avon and at 24 became an actress in several theatres of London. She could also be seen on a big screen, having debuted in a movie Behind the Mask. During her professional career, the actress took part in more than 100 projects, becoming a multiple award-winning movie star. Additionally to that, she has been leading an active political life for a long time, being a member of different parties of left-leaning. Finally, successful career didn't stop her to create a wonderful family that is always her priority. The actress's father, Sir Michael Radgrave, had also been a talented actor with extraordinary skills not only as a movie man but also as a filmmaker. He was bisexual and never had intentions to get married until he was proposed to do so by his future-to-be wife, Kempson. This secret was kept in privacy until he decided to write an autobiography. Unfortunately, in 1976, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. He died a day after he turned 77 in 1985. The mother, Rachel Kempson, had been an actress, a wonderful parent and a loyal spouse. She had always dreamt of a fabulous life with fame and recognition and that's exactly what she got having walked down the aisle with Michael. However, creation of a family and kids made her step aside, paying attention to the family members. She died in 2003 at the age of 92 to a stroke. The celebrity had two siblings, with Corinne being the eldest one. He wasn't an exception and followed acting career as all family members. He was married twice and had two children in each of the marriages. He had been fighting prostate cancer for 10 years, but didn't succeed and died in 2010. Another elder sibling is Lynn. She was also very successful in both professional and personal ways. She was an award-winning actress and a perfect wife to John Clark. Their marriage lasted 33 years and resulted in three kids. Unfortunately, she was also diagnosed with cancer and even though she had a surgery, she passed away just a month after Corin being only 67. The movie star was married twice. She first tied the knot with the film director Antonio Richardson in 1962. During a six-year marriage, they have produced two kids and divorced because Antonio turned out to be bisexual and had affairs. His orientation was kept private from the public until he contracted HIV and died within a short period of time because of it. An actor Franco Nero, who is originally from Italy, became the celebrity's second spouse in 2006. They first met on the set of Camelot and it was nothing like love at first sight or any chemistry at all until Vanessa asked him out on a date. In no time, they started dating and even welcomed their first child to the world. However, it didn't make them marry officially. Their relationship was on and off with even seeing other people. However, in the end, it is all about love and the two lovebirds finally married in 2006. According to the actress, without Nero, she would never survive the loss of her siblings and daughter. Natasha, who was delivered in 1963, was Vanessa's first child from Richardson. As all family members, she was also into the acting industry and was doing well. She was first married to Robert Fox for two years. After that, she tied the knot with famous actor Liam Neeson and gave birth to two kids. She died in 2009 at the age of 43 to a head injury that happened at a ski resort. One more daughter from the first marriage is Jolie. It wouldn't be surprising to know that she is also an actress. She is a mother to a daughter and an ex-wife to Team Bevan. With Nero, the famous Vanessa has a son, Carlo, who was born in 1969. He is successful professionally being a movie director and a screenwriter, as well as personally being a husband and father. That is all. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.